do Hatha Yoga on the mat today. Uh, most of this will be done uh, laying down on your back and uh, seated. So do make sure you have a ball handy to protect your lower back and a block or pillow for your head to relax on. We're going to start in pranayama and deep breathing. So when ready, lengthen the legs on your mat and lay down. Once you feel your head is comfortable, lift the chin so that it's looking up at the ceiling. Roll your shoulders back and down into the mats and then bring your hands beside you. Before you do anything else, turn the palms to the ceiling and draw the middle finger to the thumbs and draw a deep breath in as you close your eyes through your nose. As you exhale, exhale through the mouth slowly. On your next in breath, draw in a deep breath in from here. Lift in the diaphragm and then exhale very slowly. So you're controlling the diaphragm into diaphragmatic breathing. Repeat this for 10 breaths. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Next time you breathe in, roll the shoulders up to the ears and slide the scapulas further down, breathing out slowly. Repeat this now for two more deep breaths, relaxing your shoulders, focusing on the music and relaxing the body onto the mats. Here as you lay supine, open the fingers and stretch the hands. From here, lengthen the arms and the palms to face the ceiling and then curl one foot, uh, finger and thumb one at a time to make in a fist and then open out again, stretching and lengthening until you've made a nice big fan shape hand. Repeat this for four deep breaths in and four deep breaths out, concentrating with eyes closed the lengthening of the digits, phalanges or fingers and thumb. Don't forget, the slower you do this, the better your mind will clear. Drawing the deep breaths in, exhaling slowly on the out breaths to control the breath as it releases. Last deep breath in and out. Relax the shoulders and take the tension that's in them away as you make a fist and one more time into a fan shape hand. Now with the fan shape hands, turn them over and draw them down, bringing the elbows away from the chest and the rib cage. Breathe in again and open your eyes, but this time bring the palms of the hands still with flag shapes over the head, stretch from the waist to your fingertips and draw in the tummy muscle, drawing in nice and tight as you stretch. Then exhale again, arms all the way slowly back together, working with both arms together, stretching through all of the muscles that travel into the shoulders and away. Pull down the back of the hands till they reach the floor behind you. We're going to repeat this for four nice big stretches. Close your eyes if it helps you to feel the stretch as you lengthen the arms above the head and try and get the back of the hand to the floor behind the head. As you come down, relax the shoulders and elbows, then repeat again. On each deep breath, pulling in the tummy muscles and then for an extra progression, squeeze the glute muscles together, tilting the pelvis to the ceiling and then relax as the arms comes down. Four more of these deep breaths in and out, or four more onto circumduction with the arms, squeezing and targeting the muscles in the glutes and in the pelvis. Feel the stretch of the body, lengthen your arms, pull in the tummy, exhale, release all the muscles. We're going to do one more here. Now we're going to stay here, stretching the arms above the head. Now point the toes as you lengthen the whole body. 
feeling the lengthening of the shoulders, the back, the arms and the legs. Now from here, draw the hands to Nemeste, bringing the hands to prayer hold and push against the hands, opening out the elbows. Then once here, do the same with the legs, drawing them up and pull them open, stretching both knees and elbows in the same way. So we will call this an abductor stretch. Stretching out and then try and bring the knees to the mats or the floor. And with your next in breath, take the palms to the ceiling. Stretch through the shoulders and lengthen the elbows as we hold this position. Either counting to 30 in our head or breathing in and out for eight deep breaths. Feel the stretch in your hips, your back, your shoulders, and in the knees. Now, if you do have injury in the knee, use the ball to place underneath the knee to help the knee to be protected. And the same applies to the shoulder if it's sore. A smaller ball will hold and protect the shoulder. Two more deep breaths here. So making the count of 30 or eight deep breaths, feel the stretch in the hips as we now travel into a nice, easy, open leg stretch or what I call happy baby. Placing the hands inside of the inserts of the feet, repeating with the other leg, open out the knees, stretch the hips. When you're there, holding on to the feet, or if you can't reach the feet, reach for the ankles, draw the knees down towards the armpits. Open and out your hips. Feel the stretch, but then you must relax your shoulders. And then gently rocking side to side, working through the back muscles. Relax, stretch and rock. Again, feeling the work through the back and the bottom. If you do have a back issue, don't rock fast. Now we're going to straighten the legs and reach for the calves, stretching out the knees now and opening the legs fully. But now circle your feet in slow circles, a way to work ankles and calves. Then when ready, reverse the foot for about five to six cycles. Now from here, pull and pulse through the middle of the legs. Now bringing the hands to the top of the thighs, draw in a deep breath in, relax the shoulders and tuck your chin so that you can look through the legs and try and lengthen the knees a little more. They may be a little stiff and tight, so don't force them. Here, looking through the legs, try and lengthen the hands to the toes or calves, allowing the knees to fully lengthen, but this does depend on the hamstring. Looking through the legs here, tucking in the chin, feel the work through the inside of the legs as you stretch fully the muscles that travel from the pelvis to the knees. Two more deep breaths to hold, so six all together. Close my legs and draw the feet together, working on the limbs and the ankles, point and flex alternate feet, stretching through the calf muscles as I do so, feeling the work in the ankles. Just don't forget though, be careful if you can as you work right to left <clears throat> to make sure the knees are straight. <clears throat> From here, I'm going to warm up my lower back and tummy muscles to prepare me into bigger asana. Before I do these asanas, place the ball under the bottom as to protect the coccyx and back. As I'm now going to warm up the legs by dropping the legs all the way over the ball, pointing and flexing the toes, and then using the tummy muscles to bring the feet back up again. Repeat in here for 10 all together. That's 10 down towards the floor or mat, and then 10 up to the ceiling. Again, pointing and flexing through the calves, my lower back, 
Feeling the work on my tummy here? Breathing out to gently and slowly, encouraging the legs to come back up. Now, if you rush this, you won't get the benefit of strengthening the lower back muscles. Or to progress, you might want to go lower and just hold for a second before you bring them back up. It does depend on the strength in the lower back and in the tummy. Each time you're walking the legs up and down, feel the work into the hips. The lower back here is still stretching, but feeling the lengthening through the calves as well. Four more of these, completing the 10 as mentioned. Now, if you find it difficult to lift up the legs together, you may want to do one at a time. Really good to strengthen your back, though, as mentioned earlier. And one more, but I'm going to progress just slightly by holding that off the floor for two breaths with straightened knees. Optional, if not, bring the legs up. To progress from here, if it gets too much, drop one knee to a bent or crook position. If not into boat, bringing the arms above the head, lengthening fully through the arms and legs. Feeling the work here through the lower back and the limbs. Holding here for four to five breaths, preparing our body as we soon will go into a vinyasa flow. Allowing the body now though to fully extend, we're going to bring the knees in, rock from side to side but then go back to boat so that our back and tummy are fully ready, our limbs fully stretched. And here we go again. Breathe in and out for four more breaths, making your eight all together. Now that we've done our warm up and that our body is ready, we're going to take you quite swiftly from here onto your tummy. Two more breaths. Now lower the feet, take away the ball and release the block or pillow as we're going to stretch the back here in supine position before I roll over. Draw the heels to the bottom and dig in to go up, feeling the stretch in your back, your bottom, your legs and hips. And the progression here is to extend the arms again above the head, pulling in the tummy muscles and strengthening the quads at the top of the legs from the knees to the hips. Stretch the fingers and lengthen the spine. Hold here for just two more breaths. Draw in the pelvis, lower the back and bring the knees together to roll you over onto your hands and knees. One up on your hands and knees and when ready, tuck in the chin, pull the chin towards the tummy and then push the heels down, the bottom to the heels and push up into a cat to cow vinyasa flow, repeating for eight of these down and eight up. If you can't kneel on the knees, you may want to just fold the mat over, which will get you extra protection on the knees. Alternatively, you can do this against the wall, as explained many times before and in classes. Don't forget as you go from down and up, you're not going to hold the positions, you're just gonna let them flow. So coming out of the warm-up, which was a half a warm-up, we now vinyasa flow from one to the other, feeling the work through the tummy muscles, the lower back and shoulders. But try and relax the shoulders even though they're moving. Because if these are tensioned or uptight, you won't feel the benefit of the release of the spine muscles. There are many muscles in the back that are moving here, but I'm targeting the internal muscles. 
or the local ones to the spine. By drawing the tummy muscles in, the pelvic floor muscles and the rectus abdominis pulls in tightly. By lifting here, that same abdominal muscles are now lengthening in towards the chin. As we exhale and roll through the spine, we target the multidipedus, the quadratus limborum, and the erector spinae, even though we're not twisting, we are still lengthening the muscles and the latissimus dorsi feeling amazing as you stretch. There are so many other muscles that you work here. We have two more to make our eight. Now swiftly into a downward dog, which I've done many times before, but here, walking through the pedal pushes and heels makes this a vinyasa flow. Just from here, drop in the chin, look towards the feet and lower one heel at a time. Now stepping onto the stronger leg, draw the other leg from behind you forwards and hold, stretching into a long lunge, pushing the front knee forwards lengthening the back knee and stretching fully on your quadricep muscles and hamstrings at the top of the thighs. Notice here I'm pulsing, so I'm not holding that position, limbering through the legs. And then I'm gonna hold that position to come up, feeling the work on the front leg, but then I'm going to lower into a full lunge and bring the arms to the ceiling, here into a standing lunge and gently pulse here working through the tops of the thighs to strengthen my legs. Try and lengthen the uh, elbows past the ears to the ceiling. Coming down swiftly, step back, change legs, but go downward dog first, pedal pushes for four before we change legs. So we're ready, other leg forwards, pulse and stretch, lengthen and push. Feel the tops of the legs as you pulse this. Deep breath in, coming back. Stretch the back, lengthen the arms, and when ready, into those lunges and pulse again. The pulsing or limbering allows the muscles to ease in gently without forcing them straight away. Now lower the back leg into your next yoga position, working on lower back to strengthen. Look up to the ceiling, lengthen the arms and lean back. If this is too much for you, keep the arms straight, so therefore not hurting the lower back. For those that can, strengthen in the lower back, we're not gonna pulse though, hold that for four breaths. Breathing in and breathing out. Now from here, I'm gonna go forwards again, this time coming into that extended lunge, but straightening both knees now into a triangle pose. This lengthening calves and knees together. Notice here, I'm just gonna hold that position for two, but then drop the nose to the knees, feeling the extension through the legs. Then I'm gonna step back, change legs, come forward again, and then when balanced and ready, we're an extension on, the back leg, lean again when ready. Watch the extension and don't go down too far. Feel the lengthening of the back or bring the knee all the way down as I did on the other leg. I'm going to slide, when ready, my left leg behind me, bringing my right arm down and go into a triangle hold, but watch the back. Holding here for six breaths if you can, or vinyasa flow by working the hand under the triangle and back. Counting for six. Now we're going to go into a plank here. If you find this difficult, bend the knees and cross the ankles. If the shoulders are a little uncomfortable, go down to your elbows. 
Hold it here, looking down at my hands. This will help my neck to not hurt. Hold here for about six to eight breaths. Now back into the other arm and triangle hold. Notice I'm turning my head to look at the other. Now coming back here, bend your knees and roll into a staff pose or child's pose, lengthening your arms, feeling the stretch on the shoulders and the knees. Again, remember what's good for you if you need to protect your knees. Then bring your hands round to your feet, curling like a ball fully, stretching through your ankles, your hands, shoulders are relaxed, and your spine. Now come up slowly as we add most of those exercises from the beginning into a vinyasa flow. So when ready, we will go from one to the other, holding for two breaths on each position. Cat starts you, deep breath in. Out breath to cow. Downward dog follows you for two breaths. Extended lunge with whichever leg you prefer in front of you and hold. Into a extended back stretch there, holding for two breaths. Or seated lunge. Exhale, change legs. Downward dog first. Step in with the other leg. You must listen to your body as you travel through each of them. If they get too much or they're too difficult, just hold, go back to a child's pose, which is where we're going next. Relax in the body, coming down. And any time you find it hard, stretch through the spine and legs. Extended leg stretch, both legs lengthen this time, heels down, hands in front of you, and then try and get your nose to the knee, two breaths. Change legs. Step in swiftly back. Go into plank. Triangle hold. Other arm. Child's pose. Start again. Coming forward first into downward cat. Sindhasana. Gutiyasana. Cow up. Padrasana when ready. Stepping forward lunge. And lift. And hold and stretch. Lower back leg, stretch, seated lunge. Downward dog. Mm -hmm. 
other leg. Find your balance first. Seated lunge. Real strengthening of the back, these exercises. Nice, strong uh, yoga positions moving from one to the other into vinyasa flow. We're going to go to um, child's pose now. From here, gently when ready, into plank. Triangle. How are we doing? You know what's coming next now? Mm -hmm. Other way. Let's go down the dog before we go cat this time. So this time pedal pushes through to find any stretch here on the legs and back. Knees down slowly, child's pose low, Balasana, and breathe. Now we're going to work a little bit on twisting through the spine now by drawing one leg, can you see this, over the other. Then from here, lift the back leg. Once you're there, bringing the hands in front of you. You're going to lift both of them, but don't do this if knees are sore. Then coming down, slide and pull through into a cross hold. Change legs, slide the other one over and through. Cross again onto both knees. If you find this difficult, don't do it. Slide down, child's blow cross. And then on that cross, keeping the legs as they are, reach for the block or pillow as we're gonna bring those legs still crossed round behind you slowly, watch your back, and then sit on the pillow as we open into a cow face hold. So the legs are still crossed, yeah? Now from here, I'm gonna bring my hands to Namaste. You can if you want to, but I'm gonna hold here. Hold you for two breaths. Cow face if you would wish. Depends if you're stressed or tense. If you are, stick out the tongue. <laughs> now lengthen into a nice extension. He's still twisting through my hips there. I'm gonna come back to the heart of my body and swap the legs over. You might find that this one's a little tighter than the other side, but try your best. Deep breath in to seal in and then. Bringing the hands back to the heart of the body, unravel the legs and lengthen them, bringing them down. Place the hands one at a time under the calves, feeling the bottom on your block and lower the head so you're stretching fully in the hamstrings and thighs. Two more breaths here to feel that extension. Now reaching for the ankles or feet, bring the head lower and fully stretch the knees to the floor. Bringing the hands together, the feet together. Breathe, namaste. Have a wonderful day and thank you for coming. Bye bye for now.